Hello and welcome to another video from the Traders Terminal. This is Jordan and as you can see today we're going to talk about the Dow Jones. Now first of all let's split and define the time frames of this analysis. On a macro level I personally do expect things to get worsened in the US. I do expect this um, environment worsening environment to lead to recession and this on its own is probably going to lead to lower equity prices that's point one um, in my macro understanding on the other hand in one of my studies i conducted a research where i did a comparison of similar market environments to the current one and as it turns out we're still in a state or a phase where we can see the previous all-time high being reached easily before the real bad things happen. So in summary, my longer term expectation here is that we're going to see new lows. And I'm referring to the lows that we have from October. Okay. But in the meantime, could we go ahead and reach the all-time high and pass this all-time high go low, uh, higher? Yeah, definitely. This is what the data shows. So I always try to be present and um, basically understand the very short term to the very long term, which is broadly speaking about macro here. Plus, we can do that with technical analysis. But having some kind of idea about the macro state is also super beneficial, right? So that's the, the first part. Now, on the second part, we have the technical analysis. And when it comes to technical analysis, this is where I feel much more comfortable. And the idea which I'm going to share with you is actually for the very um, intraday, short-term traders of you, an opportunity which is kind of simple, straightforward, and I think most of you are going to like it. So let's see what do we have in terms of the technicals. First of all, um, the 200 MA, all right? The 200 MA daily chart was broken uh, right here. Attempt, attempt for a false break, just like it happened multiple times before that. But this time the price managed to continue higher, break above and continue. So based on the ma this thing is still bullish there right the price is trading above it and the ma is starting to flip and turn up the angle of the ma is starting to flip up on the other hand adding now um these lines in order to see where exactly this consolidation is bouncing from we get this structure okay so pretty much whatever this structure breaks is probably going to define the next mid-term move but this opportunity is about the very short term so please stick with me for a few more seconds before we get to that one more thing that i would like to be aware of is this level right here okay and this level is something that the price was respecting multiple times and for whatever reason it cares about it. This level is around 33.7k down to 33 around number, 33k, right? And when we put all that together, we can see that after the breakout here, this is where approximately the situation, not the situation, the level where things got bullish right breakout of the ma breakout of the trend line breakout of this horizontal zone price managed to push higher breaking making new highs then pushing lower but it's not immediately breaking below all of these three factors to continue move lower like it happened here for example it actually stayed there all right so the way I'm reading that is we have buyers here. We have bulls that are pushing the price upwards. They're buying the pullbacks. 
So from a technical perspective, in the very short to midterm, I would expect this thing to be broken up. But before it gets broken up, I would like to go ahead and find myself a bullish opportunity. One more thing that I'm com not comparing, but reading here it is, is the um, Spotlight platform. And for the Spotlight platform, this is the web scanner, which is available from all devices, basically. And what I would like to see is the short term. Now, in the short term, look what's happening there. It already flipped to bullish. And it says wait for pullbacks to buy. The midterm is saying possible bullish reversal is taking place. The recommendation is still at neutral, but the short term is already getting there. It already gotten there actually, right? Past tense. So I have a few things confirming that this is probably in a bullish state, at least in the very short term. The specific idea which I would like to share with you is, now before I share this idea, let's first of all pick up the levels. You already have one line here, and then look at this zone and this zone. So I would mark this zone here, the level, and probably the bottom. This one, this one, here it stop, etc. So approximately three intraday levels. Okay. This one I'm going to adjust slightly here because this is the spike. This is clear and obvious, right? With the trend line, but that zone is important. And now I have this zone over here that, in my opinion, if the price goes and retests is very likely to provide bullish opportunities. Well, whether it does or it doesn't, we don't know. But if it does, I would like to be trading buys from this very zone. And now here is the interesting part. Because this is very short-term trading, even if we get down move, a reversal with entry here, price pushes up a bit. Because this is a level of importance, critical level, and then moves lower, you are still very likely to make some money out of it, or at least not lose money, okay? Because if you pick the correct levels, usually you're going to get some kind of reaction out of the market. And well, of course, the worst case scenario is you get triggered price moves lower immediately, then you lose money. But in all other cases, we have pretty good probabilities here, at least in my opinion, for this thing to provide a bounce and then uh, move up for some good profitable outcome. In the case that this thing starts moving up, indeed it breaks the zone, the line, and we are likely going to visit the previous high which is around 35k or so, 35.2. Please keep in mind that if you're involved from the very low uh, levels here, it's not a bad idea to leave some small portion out of the big risk and big exposure that you, not big risk, but the whole risk of your exposure, right? Leave some small portion because once this thing breaks, if it breaks, it might deliver very interesting nice moves and strong moves which could be a very big chunk of profit at the end of the day just this small risk-free portion all right just an extra tip there uh so that's that's pretty much how i see it of course if you have any questions as usual don't hesitate to leave a comment and i'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you for watching and Please do subscribe if you're not subscribed yet.